This here is Rusty Peen from the Beaver Pond Guns and Tackle Society, where our mission is to arm more drag queens because a loaded drag queen is a safe drag queen. Dude, have you been to the movies lately? They got this shit out called The North Man. Dude, in case you don't know what it's about, let me clue you in. It's about this fucking prince of Norland or Denny's or some shit. Anyway, bud. His father dies under mysterious circumstances and his uncle swoops in and tries to pick up his mom. And dude, I bet you're thinking to yourself, well shit dude, that story sounds familiar. That sounds an awful lot like the Rusty Peen story. Dude, you've been following my YouTube channel. You know the story, how it goes. My pappy Peen died under mysterious circumstances while doing a cigarette delivery because his last words were, I'm going out for some smokes. Next thing you know, Uncle Iggy Peen is swooping in trying to scoop up my Peen. Dude, story as old as time, bud. I've even been trying to parse out the situation and put down my deepest thoughts to words to figure out all this shit. And seems like someone's stealing all my fucking words and notes. Check this shit out. To peen or not to peen? That's the question, bud. Whether it makes more fucking sense to suffer outrageous fortune or to take arms against the sea of troubles and drop kick a fucker in the fucking throat. To die. To sleep no more. Do it by sleep means that you end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is there too. Dude, it's a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, for chance to peen. Dude, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what peens may come when we've shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's a respect bud that makes calamity a so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The pressers wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love. The lies delay, the insolence of office, cousin fucking Craig, and the patient merit that the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietest make with a bare bodkin. Dude, you know what that fucking means, cousin Craig? Bet they didn't teach you that at fucking Dirtmouth College. Who would fartles bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death? The undiscovered country from whose born no travel returns puzzles the will. It makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Dude, conscience makes fucking cowards of us all. Dude, the native fuel of resolution is sickly door with the bell cast of thought and fucking pathetic enterprises watch their currents turn to shit and lose the name of action. Shit like this I'm talking about, but I gotta talk to a lawyer about creative licensing and shit. What else is there to say? Don't go see the North Man. It's fucking bullshit, dude. Rosenprance and Gildenstein are fucking dead.